the farm families of Cabot Cooperative are happy to be stuck in Vermont. Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. My name's Ava Solberger. We are here in Hardwick for the 20th year of Vermont Spring Open Studio Weekend, organized by the Vermont Crafts Council. Hey there. <laughs> and it's going to slowly build up there. I kind of joke, I'm always twiddling my thumb. Yes, so that's right here on the lawn. So anyway, a year in Hardwick. Keep turning, it keeps things on center. And all over the state, there are little yellow signs dotting the landscape, alerting people to where they can stop and meet an artist or craftsperson and find out about what they do and why they do it. This is my studio, and this is my space. Yes, oh, the yellow yeah. signs. Yes, it's nice going up the little yeah. dirt roads that you don't usually explore. 20-year accomplishment. Open Studio Weekend's been going on 20 years here in Vermont. And you know why we've done it every year? Because you guys have come back. <laughs> And this weekend we distribute, I believe it's 20,000 maps. So this little map comes in handy when you're trying to figure out where to go. It tells you all about the different counties and the different artists that you can visit. We're one of two studios in the state that's participated for every one of those 20 years. Uh, Bob Gasparetti and uh, we are the, uh, the two folks that have done it all 20 years. You haven't been coming all 20 years, but you've been coming a lot of years. Probably close to it. Probably close to it, all right. said, my husband Harry, we own Vermont Glass Workshop together. It's our 28th year in business. And uh, for all of those years, we've worked together dovetailing our talents. I've been blowing glass for over 30 years. And this work, which we've been developing since the early 1990s, mostly depicting um, our local landscape, which happens to be Vermont's Northeast Kingdom, obviously a very beautiful part of the world. The furthest north I've been is Svalbard, which is way up there. A book that I did in Iceland. And it's one page an hour for 24 hours following the sun. <laughs> that it unfolds. Right? A uh, place where the sun doesn't rise or doesn't set. You really do get a sense that you're on this ball in space. I'm sitting at a work in progress. I am threading my loom. Do it this way. And then do it that way. You'll have a ruffled edge and a yeah, felted absolutely. piece in the middle. I just love seeing what the local artists do, and I love to support them. Not everybody realizes how much talent we ha have in the state, and this just shows it off. I'm a quilt maker myself and an artist, and it's just fabulous. These are my neighbors, and it's a fabulous experience to have these wonderful crafts all over our state. People come from all over New England and sometimes other parts of the country for this weekend to come into Vermont, spend a beautiful weekend here. I mean, we're marketers. And this is like a fabulous draw. And that sign, that yellow sign says, you are welcome and we are prepared for you to come and see what we're doing. We're not aloof, we're not elite, whatever. Come check us out. Harry said, uh, you guys want to blow something? You're on, baby. So I'm sitting around, I said, you know, I think I'd like to take Harry up on that and I know what I want. <laughs> so here I am. Turning and blowing, turning and blowing. Turning and blowing. It's kind of like blowing up a balloon. That initial part is hard, but okay, good, good. Hardwick is, is just, it's a great place. So we've been here for almost 30 years. And in Hardwick in particular, I live in a, a locavore economy where everything is just booming. I think that over the years they have benefited from Open Studio because we brought people in to see how great it is here. It's kind of a little like the old world too where you, mm -hmm. you, you knew your neighbors and did whatever you could yeah. with them. It's important for Vermont because we are creative economy and we're so passionate about art, all the artists that do this work, 
and it's a great way to make a living and live at home and live in this beautiful state. Because it does help preserve a character of the state, you know, that sort of rural sustainable economy. It now has a name. It used to be just a bunch of us working in the woods trying to, you know, make a go of it. So we're grateful to the Vermont Crafts Council for sticking at it for 20 years and we hope they go another 20 years mm -hmm. too. The past 20 years I've appreciated. It's the next 20 years that I'm really curious about. <laughs>